So we've removed our motherboard tray from our Thermaltake level 10 case and we're all set to install the motherboard. So first steps that I'm going to be doing is before I install the motherboard I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, motherboard standoff screws and if you saw me working on this in in some of the cheaper cases that that I've been using when I've been building out some of these Macho Cave computer builds uh, you may have remembered where where if I drop screws down some holes or or uh, things have gotten loose and and I have to like lift up the whole case to shake out the the screw well those days are gone uh, I I don't have any of that kind of torture or any of those uh, those uh, fatiguing work points um, with a removable drive bay you're gonna see just exactly how easy it is uh, it's gonna take to to install a motherboard and pretty much um, even though I've edited this video uh, the actual install of the motherboard was only 10 minutes which is the fastest I've ever been able to install a uh, motherboard in a computer uh, it usually takes me a lot of time because uh, as I'm screwing one one part of the, the board in uh, the screw slips or or I can't get the screws lined up and they drop out uh, in this case it's just super easy it's just uh, uh, it's just uh, sliding it right in. So in this case, the only thing I forgotten was that um, this uh, this back panel has to go in. And check this out. Just move that out of the way. Take the back panel and just slide it in. So this was the biggest uh, um, this is the biggest issue I had uh, laughably was that the uh, the back panel wasn't uh, wasn't wasn't put in place right. So, you know, now if you can just envision now, if this is the biggest issue uh, that I had building out this this build, uh, you can just envision that that what any kind of uh, slide out motherboard tray is gonna gonna do for your for your case building uh, and system building skills basically. It's just uh, it's just gonna help it by leaps and bounds. So. Let's just go ahead and line this up. So this is just the hardest part of the of the uh, system build, and I'm so happy that that uh, this is a slide out tray. I just can't mention that enough, really. And it's it, it's just so wonderful. Um, it's such a step up from from the uh, budget build, uh, and it's going to be hard going back to uh, building out like little budget build systems because. Uh, budget builds are missing these uh, these anemones so I'm gonna try not to get too spoiled by this but uh, just show you that if you could afford it save up a few bucks get something that that has a slide out motherboard tray um, also if you're if you're gonna be building out uh, a couple of boards a year I highly recommend getting something that does have a slide out motherboard tray uh, if you're if you're a reviewer like myself or if you're a system builder that goes through a couple of systems a year uh, or or likes to upgrade their motherboard quite a bit each year uh, the, the slide out tray does pay for itself after a while so once once again you get everything lined up uh, you just need to go ahead and and uh, just thread in the, the screws to to the uh, adjoining uh, motherboard standoffs and you'd be all set so essentially uh, with this with this being removable uh, you, you know you should be careful when you're when you're threading in screws you don't want things shorting out uh, you don't want uh, you know you don't want to be dropping screws on on the motherboard but uh, in case you do and and in case it it gets out of alignment or whatever uh, you could always just easily thread it back in and it's very simple with it being removable so it's just totally spoiled but uh, you know I'm just totally spoiled by this now uh, and just enjoying it this is the just the way building a system should be just fast and easy and quick uh, if it's 
you know, like if you're say, say you're working on a on on a uh, removable motherboard tray, and the step is taking you quite a while, um, just go back, um, check where you placed the motherboard standoffs. You, you may have placed them in the wrong holes, or uh, something may not be aligning correctly. You know, like there's still things that could go wrong, but I will just uh, double check that you're you're actually putting everything in the right holes. Uh, that everything is is lining before you start screwing everything in. Thanks for watching, and remember, everything matters.